When is a dice game not really a dice game? When you're playing Manila, a fantastic push-your-luck game, and while dice will certainly affect it, it's more about having faith in your accomplices. Let's take a brief look at it. In the game, each player has accomplices that will help them win the game by placing them around the board or on the boats. There are four types of goods in the game, but only three will ever move up the river based on the harbor master's decision. When a good reaches a value of 30, it will trigger game end. There are share cards of the four types of goods and money. Let's take a look at the game. The game takes place over a number of rounds. At the beginning of each round, players are bidding an auction to become the harbor master. The harbor master gets to decide which of the four goods are placed in the boats. The die will be rolled three times to move the boats upriver, hopefully landing at the wharf, sometimes the shipyard. There's also pirates, pilots, or you can simply take insurance. It's in placing your accomplices around the board that you're going to get money and affect the game. Once a good has reached a value of 30, it triggers game end the player with the most money will win. As a dice game, it's not so much about pushing your luck with a dice roll, it's more in taking a chance on where you're going to place your accomplices and hopefully manipulate the board to the best of your ability so you can win.